Hi everyone, good evening. I hope all of you are good. Welcome back to the reading practice sessions. And let's begin with today's test. So here you have your first question on the screen. And I hope it is visible to all of you. Two and a half minutes for solving this question, then post your answers in the chat box and then we'll have a discussion on this. All right, start solving.
All right, should be done by now. Please post your answers. Be careful of the time. So this says cars became practical vehicles and millions of Americans started buying cars for luxury and cash. So all of you are correct in this answer saying they bought cars for luxury and for convenience because it's very convenient to sit in a car and travel to any place you want to go. Cars was just not an accessory, just not a thing for them. Support or waste, waste is a negative word and we don't buy cars for supporting us. Support is more used for things which are a bit uh, helpful in terms of that without those things, you will be in a very bad condition that is called support. Then they say manufacturers competed to outreach each other in advancements in all aspects of automobile construction and cars became more dash comfortable and easier to drive. So they become more something comfortable and easier to drive a positive word. So we will need a positive word here. Deceptive is a negative word. Deceptive means misleading, something which shows illusionary information, which shows something which is not true. That is called deceptive. You can write misleading as its meaning if you want. And then responsible cars cannot become responsible. We are responsible for the driving. They are not responsible. Uh, reliable and pliable. Pliable also, I think, is a negative word. Let's check the meaning once. No, pliable means flexible. So cars cannot be flexible. Rather, they're very strong. So we'll go with reliable. It means the functions uh, kept on improving and improving. There were better wheels, better system, better engine. So they become more reliable. That, that there will be less of faults in them. So that is called reliability, something we can trust on. Henry Ford was able to reduce the cost of cars to a level that most people could afford to buy. Car factories employed thousands of workers and new industries dash up to service the automobile. So this is all, all the things are happening in past tense. So Henry Ford was able to, and then factories employed thousands of workers. So we are talking about that time in the past. So new industries dash up. So we need a past tense here. So spring is present tense. We will first eliminate this. New industries developed up to. So industries are not developed. When we have a new industry, we say new industries are being established. We don't say development word with industries. Accomplished is to fulfill something. We don't fulfill industries. Rather, we will go with sprang up. Sprang up is also a collocation. Sprang up would be just like come up. When you have uh, something starts to exist suddenly, that it was not very planned, but when cars became so popular, so a lot of new industries came up like uh, fuel stations or like mechanics and then a lot of uh, spare part industry. So all these industries came up. So came up can be sprang up to service the automobile. Henry Ford became one of the richest men of America and the steel industry also blew, boomed. The process of standardized mass production led to economic dash. So these are all good things happening. Um, even the next sentence, if we read this, is the worker productivity rapidly increased. This is also a positive thing. So that means this sentence is also positive. That this process of standardized mass production led to economic something good in economic. We have amplification, which is a word we use for sound, increase in sound with the help of amplifiers called amplification. Stagnation is a negative word. Stagnation means something which is not growing, which is uh, which has become stagnant, means it, it has become stable there, or rather stable is a positive word, which has been stuck at a place is called stagnant. Economic spread does not convey anything, but economic expansion is a term that means there were more and more opportunities to grow economically. That is called economic expansion. The worker productivity rapidly increased. And then in the end, we have with increased worker productivity, workers earned higher wages. So this is what they have explained that what is economic expansion? There were more money, there was more money with people, they earned higher wages, became better consumers and investors in the US stock market. A new cycle of dash started which encouraged Americans to build up debt in order to buy consumer goods. 
so when people in the market in the society people have more money then which cycle starts it is called cycle of merchandise means goods just the goods so if we say cycle of goods there is no cycle that only goods can have with each other cars can have a cycle with uh, bicycles so that is not possible cycle of buyers buyers are just human beings so human beings cannot have a cycle marketing is just advertisement promotion that is marketing but consumerism is a term which is a process which includes everything consumerism basically includes buying and selling and all the activities related to buying and selling are included in the term consumerism so when you earn uh, then you spend that money on your um, needs and requirements and you buy things so you pay for those things and the people who sell they get bonuses they get their salary out of that money that you gave so this is a cycle of consumerism this is how money flows in the market that is called consumerism so these are the answers the first one is we buy cars for luxury or we buy cars for convenience second we needed a positive word cars are becoming more reliable means more trustworthy because they are better improving and improving third new industries came up with automobile so new industries sprang up we needed past tense there economic expansion means more money uh, started to circulate in the market that is uh, expansion of money expansion of economy and the last one a new cycle of consumerism which includes buying selling promoting and everything related to buying and selling is included in consumerism so these are the answers any confusion anybody has please put your doubts in the chat box no doubts sprang is came up like suddenly coming up suddenly not like in a fraction of second suddenly like it was not planned with the first thing but because the first thing became so successful this next things followed that that is sprang up but here you can understand that new industries came up merchandise is only so merchandise is basically used in business context merchandise is anything that the business trades in so whatever for example if you uh, sell clothes so for you merchandise is your stock basically that is merchandise stock is the right word to understand it all right okay so here is your question number 2 2 minutes 2 and a half minutes for this please post your answers once you have done and then we have discussion
Okay, should be done by now. So this says for many years before the Golden Gate Bridge was built, the only way to get across San Francisco Bay was by ferry. And by the early 20th century, the bay was dashed with them. So them here means ferries. And with wars comes either ED or ING form of verb. So what we have here is we have all four ED forms. So let's see, bay means here uh, the water, basically. So the bay was clogged with ferries, cleared with ferries. So ferries were in water. So we cannot say the water was cleared with ferries. The water was filled with ferries. Filled is a very, very general word. Like you said, this glass is filled with water. So filled is very general. Choked is a negative word. Choked in one way is when you are unable to breathe. That is choked. Or otherwise choked is used in a negative way when you are, when you get stuck, something gets stuck in the throat or you're unable to breathe, that is how we use the word choked. Or the negative thing is something getting stuck is choked. Here the answer will be clogged. Clogging is a word that goes with water. And clogged here basically means that the water was full with ferries, but they were not stuck there in a negative way. Choked would come if there's a stuck, that we need help to sort that out, that is choking. And clogged just means that there was full, the water was full of ferries there. So better word of field you can understand. In the 1920s, engineer and bridge builder Joseph became dashed that a bridge should be constructed across the Golden Gate. So this person, Joseph, became dashed past tense because it happened in 1920s. So this person became satisfied or dissatisfied that there should be a bridge. He is not a one person cannot just say, I am dissatisfied, we should make a bridge here. So he was an engineer, he was a bridge builder, and he became compelled, it's forced. Negative word is compelled. He became proved, proved is not a word which we a person can become. So he became convinced is the answer. Convinced means looking at the situations, he was very sure that no, we need a bridge here. That is convinced. Convinced is used when you have solid reasons and logics and facts behind what you are saying. That is, he is convinced that he's right or he's not so that is he has facts and logics behind it so he became convinced that a bridge should be constructed many groups opposed him each for their own dash reasons so if he's thinking for a, a general benefit and people are still opposing him so they had their own uh, reasons what kind of reason selfish really stingy kind the reasons cannot be kind because the, the thing that he was trying to do was for the general public's betterment so we don't need a positive word here stingy is used for um, a person who who never spends money, that who's always unwilling to spend money, that person is called stingy. Greedy and selfish are very uh, related words and slight difference. Greedy is when we are greedy for something. We want something more and more is greedy. But here they don't want anything from the bridge. So we'll go with selfish. Selfish means they think for that, oh, I will suffer the loss. So I will not support the construction of bridge. Maybe they have some, some of the things were not in their favor. So that is not greedy. That is being selfish. That you look for yourself. You don't look for general benefit. That is the difference between greedy and selfish. And then they say the engineering challenge was also dash. And here there should be a colon because they're explaining the challenge here. The Golden Gate Bridge area often has winds up to 60 miles per hour and ocean strong ocean current sweep through a rough canyon below the surface so this is a very big thing so what is it the challenge was also vast gross enormous or big so vast is used for variety gross or net cannot be used for bridge or the challenge enormous means very big and big also means big so what is a better academic word to say that there was a big challenge we will say the challenge was enormous means it was a very big challenge to make the bridge there if all that weren't enough it was the middle of the great depression funds were dashed and the san francisco bay bridge was already under construction so depression means the economy was not booming the economy was at loss time period 
and obviously when there's repression there are not enough funds so we'll say the funds were not enough we need a word for not enough so enough is a positive word in depression we cannot have enough funds funds were rare or common rare means something which is very unusually found but here funds is not something which is unusual scanty or scarce are very similar when you talk about resources for something then it's better to use the word scarce because scarce resources is a proper term in geography so generally used in geography sense but it's a combination so here funds are the resources to make the bridge to construct the bridge so we will consider funds as a resource and we will go with scars the meaning of scanty also is insufficient but it is not used for resources over scars if the word scars would not have been there then we can go with scanty like you might have heard uh, there has been scanty rainfall in the desert so scanty means very less very meager kind of then we use the word scanty and in the end they say in spite of everything straws persisted and the golden gate bridge history began when san francisco voters overwhelmingly approved 35 million dollars in bonds to dash the bridge so bridge is something that we will construct it's not something we will organize create or elevate elevate is to take something at a height to uh, take something higher is called to elevate something so it would be to construct the bridge so clogged would be the first answer because clogged is used when something is in the water or the water is full with something then we can say it is clogged second we needed a positive word so compelled cannot be the answer became a person cannot become proved a person can become convinced that i i have solid uh, logics and reasons and facts that we have to build, um, build the bridge that is called convinced third people have their own motives that is why they were not supporting the construction of bridge so that own motives would be called selfish reasons not greedy reasons and the fourth one the challenge was very big because they have explained the geographical conditions there that it's uh, the winds blow very fast and then there are ocean currents so it was not easy to make a bridge there so it's a big challenge that is enormous and fifth one because there is depression so funds are less less funds means scarce because funds is a resource and for resources we use the word scarce scarce means li un sorry limited insufficient resources then when you do not have enough resources that is called scarce scanty also means insufficient but it is not used with resources as a priority word and the last one we need to construct the bridge So these are the answers for the second question. Any doubts, anyone? Vast is Shalija. For example, we can say there is a vast variety of plants. Vast means a lot of different types of. So that is vast variety. Yes, scarce come from the word scarcity. Scarcity is the noun form, and scarce can be adjective form. So scarce would be limited. right anybody else any question mostly used with water question clogged i'm not sure if there can be any very uh, evident or popular use but it's majorly used with water like you say roads are clogged we say when nowadays in sydney say roads are clogged train stations are clogged so with water compel is to force somebody okay so we have question number 3 on the screen and two and a half minutes for this please post your answers
All right, let's check the answers. Anybody left to post? What is the meaning of when project began? Can we begin the project on the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower itself was a project. We start work on a project. We don't start project on something. So this says when dash began on the Eiffel Tower. So when work began, because we started to build Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower was the project on which we had to work. We cannot say when project began on Eiffel Tower. When project began is fine, but when project began on Am I audible? So uh, we cannot say when project began on Eiffel Tower. We can say when project began, it's fine, but not on the Eiffel Tower. The project can begin because Eiffel Tower itself would be a project at that time on which we had to start the work. 125 years ago, many Parisians were far from enamored, describing it as a dash monstrosity that robbed the French capital. So at that time, people thought that it is something monstrosity, even if you don't know the meaning. It can be understood from the word monster, something related to monster means a very big thing which we do not need. So describing it as a monstrosity, what kind of monstrosity? Useless, valuable, priceless, useful. Obviously, they did not think positive about it. So we don't need a positive word. Useful and valuable cannot be the answers. Priceless. Priceless is more related with emotions. So priceless means even if something is of ten dollars, but it has you have a very good memory or you have a, some you have some great memory attached to it. So you'll say this 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 pen is priceless for me. That is how we use the word priceless. So here we'll say people thought it is useless. How do we get to know it? Because the sentence is negative. That robbed the French capital of its beauty. So people thought that this so big structure will destroy the beauty of our French capital, of France, basically, where we have Eiffel Tower. So they thought that we don't need it because it's just a very big thing and it will not look beautiful. So a useless monstrosity. Then they say built between this and this as the entrance are for the exposition universal, a world fair marking the centennial dash of the French Revolution. So what was it marking dash of the French Revolution? Jubilation, journal, celebration or competition. We don't have competition of French Revolution. There is no journal of French Revolution. Jubilation is used for um, maybe when we have these just a second. A feeling of great happiness. So French Revolution, we are not happy about it that we celebrate the happiness of the uh, French Revolution. But we'll say marking the centennial celebration of the French Revolution. So celebration in the sense that celebration is also used when you want to say that we remember um, that that great day that is also how we use the word celebration useless can come with a because useless is the sound of y not you the the sound of you is unprecedented when we say you and as un then we put and with it so um, marking the celebration means remembrance that we honor that day we think that day was great a great day in history that is called celebration and then after that, they say French Revolution, the tower was originally meant to stand for only 20 years, after which time it was to be dismantled. However, the wrought iron lattice tower located on this survived thanks to its communications value and went on to become one of the world's most popular monuments, dash millions of visitors each year. So the sentence completes here. We have a comma, not a full stop. And we straight away have a blank. So we go with ing form of verb. So it's a very popular tourist destination like we know, Eiffel Tower. So it attracts people. It does not inspire. Inspire would be if we get inspired and we make something similar. That is called getting inspired from something. Alluring is with capital A. It is also the same as attracting, but we cannot put a word with capital letter here. 
distracting is a negative word people get attracted towards eiffel tower not get distracted toward from it so it will be it attracts here it will be attracting millions of visitors each year the eiffel tower has inspired singers poets painters and filmmakers while miniature eiffel tower souvenirs sit in millions of dash around the globe so the small eiffel towers we generally found in a lot of homes so it is we cannot say this found uh, in millions of family cities or places we, we want to say that they are found in lots of people have kept that souvenir in their homes so households here just mean that it is spread all over it is so popular that people keep it in their homes so that is households so the first answer is work started on eiffel tower people thought it's useless it is just going to destroy the beauty so that is why they say it's useless monstrosity third was uh, useless can come with a <coughs> as i said when you say university so that u is a sound of y so we say a university we don't say an university third it was a world fair marking the celebration of french revolution celebration generally means um remembering that day that great day of history is called celebration and it attracts i put our attracts millions of visitors so we'll say attracting millions of visitors and the last one would be households we have those small eiffel tower souvenirs in lot of households around the globe okay golden jubilee third line is not well where is jubilee given neha alluring was not in capital then which one even then alluring and attracting i would say attracting because when we talk about alluring we we want to say fascinating as the exact meaning of alluring and when we say attracting we are talking about the capacity or the tendency of something being so beautiful that it attracts people towards it whereas alluring does not have that cause to attract it's just it's something very fascinating something very beautiful can be alluring i think we should still go with attracting if we have alluring in small a jubilation i said jubilation means joy a great feeling of happiness because of a success that is called jubilation so so when i see they have said it has inspired singers poets painters mean some particular groups it has not inspired general people if you or me they we go to eiffel tower we don't get any inspiration from it it's like uh, poets they write they take inspiration from its beauty and they men they write something related in their poetry or the singers they sing something related to eiffel tower so they get inspiration because they do something by taking uh, information or by taking some something from eiffel tower people like you and me the tourists we go there we don't do something by taking the information or by uh, by looking at the eiffel tower so that is not inspiration so we just go there we get attracted we need to see how beautiful it is or something different in the world that's why we go okay so what did we talk about first one kushal you can say when project began it's fine but we cannot say when project began on the eiffel tower what project are you starting on eiffel tower eiffel tower would be the project at that time and we have to start work on eiffel tower so we cannot say we don't start project on something because that something which we are working itself will be the project no this is not about knowing that eiffel tower was a project so if somebody tells you that make 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 a building so that building would be a project for you that you have to make shall resides just from general understanding so whatever you have to do whatever you have to uh, achieve that is your project and you start working on your project 
Okay. All right, so here you have the next question number four on the screen and you have two and a half minutes for this. Complete it and then post your answers.
done. <clears throat> Good, very well done. Third is not well done. Fourth, who, how can we measure music, Anita? And Ramandeep as well. So music means a pleasing modulation of sounds. The poets and novelists have used the term for figurative sense as the music of forest, the music of brook. Music has to do with dash. What are they? Sounds selected on account of their musical quality and relations. Even if you don't understand from here, it says these tones. These means we have to use the word tones before this sentence. And that is why the first answer will be tones. These tones, again, before becoming music in the artistic sense, must be so joined together, set in order, controlled by the human dash, that they express sentiment. So controlled by human dash, so something related to human. So when a person is trying to create music, at this point of time, we don't have the music, we are trying to create the music. So this is human imagination, invigoration, invigoration, intuition or inspiration. So inspiration is something that we take. But here we are, we will use the word human imagination. So if a person is imagining that this type of something I want to make and then he or she is um, mixing those tones and hymns and um, all the music things together so that whatever he or she is imagining that comes into reality controlled by the human imagination we cannot say invigoration invigoration is used in physics i think if i'm right it, it means to give energy um, the process of adding energy to something the process of adding vigor to something that is invigoration intuition is something that you predict or you feel like it's going to happen so we are here talking about creating music it's not something just prediction and inspiration does not fit here. Uh, every manifestation of musical art has two elements. First, a befitting selection of tones and second, the use of them for expressing dash and feelings. So with the help of music, what can we express? And this I believe is just talking about uh, music without lyrics, just tones and the use of them for expressing dash and feelings maybe. Do we express ideas, sentiments, thoughts, or experiences? So we don't express our ideas or experiences with music. It's better to go with sentiments and feelings. The words are from the same category. Um, because not always with music, we uh, share our experience through that music or we always share our thoughts. We sometimes also have some songs or some poetries in music which which is generally about just uh, feelings or sentiments. So it would be better to go with sentiments and feelings of the same category words. Hence, the practical art of music, like every other fine art, has two elements, an outdoor or technical. We are trained intelligence tools and teaching and study are the dash means of progress. So these are the two elements outer or technical and then in this we have rules so these things would be the um, main parts of the progress so this would be measurable we cannot measure technical or rules or study and teaching we'll say these are the principal parts principal means the main parts and then we have and the second one is inner the imagination and musical feeling which can indeed be strengthened by its dash experience in hearing but which when wanting cannot be supplied by the teacher or the laws of their action reduced to satisfactory statement, very technical. So this music feeling can be strengthened by dash experiencing hearing. What kind of experience can we have when we hear to music? So we have the words thoughtful experience. Thoughtful is not an experience. Thoughtful is something you think a lot about something that is called thoughtful action reaction that is how we use the word thoughtful astute and canny are two words which we use uh, in business and financial context which means uh thinking a lot again um 
a person who is very very quick in uh, doing taking those financial decisions in business that person is called canny and astute is also used in the same sense so we always say judicious because one meaning of judicious is also sensible wise so that can be that can come here strengthened by sensible experience in hearing does not have a very strong explanation i don't have it because the word the wording the language is very technical here they're talking about some laws of action but we can eliminate the other three words because they don't follow in this context they don't match with this context so we can say sensible experience in hearing the sensible experience at least is a thing the first one was very clear and all of you got it correct tones second is it is we are imagining and then we are creating and that will result in the same thing coming up whatever we are imagining third would be sentiments and feelings because sentiments is just like your emotions something that you want to convey your happiness sadness and feelings also means something kind of same so that would be and these two things are the are the things that we can express through music over ideas thoughts and experiences because we don't really know whether they have lyrics or not here so and then they said these are the principal means if you look at the other options measurable cannot be means impressive is something really very good and we don't know how good or bad they are subsidiary is again a word in business context we don't have subsidiary in music so subsidiary means when you control a company with some percentage of shares that company is called your subsidiary company and the last one music feeling can be strengthened by sensible experience in hearing means maybe it means like when you carefully listen then you can understand that how um what is the imagination what the uh, composer really wanted to bring out so that can be one meaning of judicious experience astute also means the same i found the meaning exactly this says good judgment in money terms or business terms so same like can having good judgment but particularly in money financial business perspectives right any other doubts anyone sentiments would be with a like your emotions your feelings so we can if even if we listen to a uh, music without lyrics um then also we at least we get to know that it's a happy music or a sad music or something maybe that sense okay the next and the last oh, oh, question more formal than what may have the out of them more formal no that they are very different because astute cannot be used for human being canny can be used for human being so they are used in different context uh, different sentence formation okay we cannot do this question so let's start with the orders and we have three reorders today here you have your first question for reorders two minutes for this and then post your answers please
Okay, this was an easy question and I have got a lot of correct answers. A lot of wrong answers also. The first sentence was B, humans are thought to have arrived in Australia around 30,000 years ago. So this is about all the humans, the most general term. And then the second sentence is because three sentences are talking about aborigines, but there is one sentence which introduces those people. So it will be D. The original inhabitants are known as aborigines. So this is where we have introduced aborigines to in the question. So that is introduction. And then uh, we say that these people are called aborigines. And then we have said in the 18th century, the aboriginal population was about 3 lakh because this is also a part of introduction that how many aborigines were there. So this will be also part of introduction, but obviously it will come after we at least name that they were called aborigines. They were around 3 lakh in the 18th century. And then there's one sentence which again keeps, talk, uh, keeps telling us about how they lived, who have been described alternatively as nomadic hunter-gatherers are fire stick farmers. They are known for using fire to clear the bush and attract grass-eating animals instead of cultivating the land, settled primarily in the water, well-watered coastal areas. So we started that they lived there. They were these many in number. And where do they live? They used to live in the well-watered coastal areas. And then we have one opinion given on these people. Some observers believe that poor treatment of the environment by aborigines over many centuries may have led to the barren nature of, the, of much of the Australian interior. This has nothing to do with as the context was flowing. This is not giving information about Aborigin. So this will come at the end because it's a bit different um, view to the story given. So that will come at the end. Should have been correct. This was easy. It was flowing in order. So when you, uh, let's say you introduce, you first say that um, lions live in subtropical forests. And you'll say there are around 1200 lions living there. So that, that forms part of introduction that how many the number always forms part of introduction and then you start talking something else about giving information or explanation further so i hope it's clear not making the pair um, putting e in between was not sensible because e is really not related to any other pair and any other sentence to make a pair. So it should come at the end. It's not crucial like number always comes, but it will come in, in, in the first few sentences. If it only has number, then yes, it will be part of introductory information. What is it? So you'll get one mark for D and C and one mark for C A is wrong, A E. One mark for A and E. So two marks. So you get one mark for every pair basically. Right, so here you have the second question on the screen, two minutes and then.
Okay, a difficult question. These types of questions will be actually difficult to crack, especially in reorders and with only four sentences. Let's try. This the first sentence was D, which a lot of you have got uh, correct, which is a very good thing because it's a very general sentence. A thriving marketplace relies on the ability not only to understand but control the cu customer experience. Means a, basically a good growing market has to do both these things. It has to understand, it has to also control the experience of the customer. That you should give the, the customer should get the experience that you want. So that is called controlling the customer experience. And then how to do that? The, that was sentence A was the second one that key performance indicators. Performance indicators basically means that how can you check that it's a growing market? So the key performance indicators like SEO keywords, clicks and conversions, drive e-commerce success. So these are the basic factors on which depends the success of e-commerce, so online business success. Then this still was very clear of here, B should be third, that these are the factors which mainly um, are responsible for e-commerce success, but still Walmart's access to consumer purchase insights from over 4,700 stores across the US creates a business advantage that e-tailers lack. This they were talking about that e-commerce success comes from here, but then they compared it with the uh, store success of Walmart. That Walmart, uh, the consumer purchase insights comes from the 4,700 stores that they have across the US. And then we kind of concluded that what exactly is essential in today's competitive market. It is in today's increasingly competitive retail market, the ability to easily modulate data across channels to meet shifting consumer needs is essential. This again, I would say is a sentence which was very not very clearly linked with what the other three sentences were talking about. The other three sentences were still on one side of the story and then there was there was kind of a suggestion given in sentence C that this is what is required in today's competitive market. Before that were all the things that were already happening. But yes, it would be very, very technical kind of question to um, crack because there were not many hints, just one still, and it also would be more dependent on context rather than hints. But for information, I hope it, it would be helpful. Very good. Those who have got it correct, very good. Okay, third, third question and the last one for the orders for today. And you have two minutes for this one as well.
Okay, should be done. And we did this kind of question this week when we said that before giving details and before giving data, if there is a sentence which tells us the same thing in just wordy form, that sentence is general and giving the data is the elaboration. So here also it was the same thing. The first sentence should be C because here we are talking about population first. So here we say the size of the population. In the next sentence, you will say, what is the size of the population? That is further information. So we say the size of the population in Africa's major cities is a problematic issue. There are not many reliable sources and most are rough estimates of the urban population. And then you will give the estimates. Now, first you say that we have rough estimates. The population is a problem, size of population basically. And then we give that what are the estimates that we have. According to the United Nations, Africa's urban population has been growing at a very high rate from about 27% to 40% and projected to reach 60% by 2050. So this is the estimation, which will come after you say that we have estimations. And then there were things were very straightforward. They say that first they said migration, they brought migration into the question. They said both underdevelopment and development have contributed to migration within African countries. So this is the reason that people are migrating within African countries. And then the migration has, what has happened because of migration will come only after we say that there is migration. So first we'll say there is migration. Because of migration, it, the, or migration has encouraged the development of slums. And then you give examples of some slums, which is given in sentence B. The largest informal slums, they gave the word slums here, are these, these, and these. So first you bring migration, that there is migration. Because of migration, there are slums. And then we give examples of slums. So B, A, D should have been correct. And C, E also, because... This we already have discussed. The estimations, sorry, the statistics always come as a detailed part. If you have a sentence which is first telling you that, okay, there were estimates, first put that and then give the estimations or the stats, whatever you have. Right? So this is a very common uh, thing that comes in the exam. So make sure that you are following this the next time. Okay, so first question for reading blanks on the screen and you have two minutes to solve this <clears throat> and then post your answers, please.
All right, should be done. Everybody has done the same mistake, all of you. So about 3 million young people in the United States are dash in cheerleading. So with R comes third form of verb. So people are involved because cheerleading is a kind of a profession nowadays. People often think of cheerleaders when they think of school spirit. Cheerleaders are a dash at football games and other sports events. So they have become a tradition. Means something which is very common, always there. That is a tradition at football games and other sports events. They help get the crowds excited for their team. In the past, cheerleading at American schools mostly involved shouting cheers and jumping up and down. But cheerleading has dashed into a sport of its own. So it has come third form of verb again and something that goes with into. Cheerleading has grown into means it has become better. It has evolved. So it has grown into a sport of its own. The moves are more physical. Cheerleaders, for example, are often thrown into the air. The dash of modern cheerleading has led to more injuries and all of you have written complexity. Complexity is a word which we use and we want to say we are not understanding. That is, this problem is so complex means it's unable, you are unable to even understand the problem. That is complex. Then every problem which is difficult is not complex. You are understanding, but there are, you know, lots of, uh, this very lengthy can be difficult. So difficulty is in terms of easy and difficult. Complex is in terms of that there's no clarity. You're not understanding anything. That is called complexity. It's too confusing. That is complexity. So here it would be the difficulty because they were comparing that earlier they used to be just simple dancing, just an, as an example. But now they, they are performing stunts. So it has become very difficult now. You have to get yourself training for that. So the difficulty of modern cheerleading has led to more injuries. It says hospital emergency rooms dash more than 200,000 cheerleaders between this and this year. So here they wanted to say the emergency that they were so serious that we have to treat them on emergency basis. So that is the uh, emergency rooms treated more than these many cheerleaders. We won't say admitted because we... We are just not talking about their admission into the hospital. We are saying that they, they need treatment. They needed treatment on emergency basis. The point was that how many of them had to be treated emergency, urgently. That would be hospital emergency rooms treated these many people. Yes, difficulty is a noun. Difficult is an adjective. Fine, is it clear now? Any questions in this task, anyone? Good, Arshdeep. That's a fine question. That is what I just said, Arshdeep. So we don't, we won't say that the hospital emergency rooms admitted. Admitted is not the point. All of the people were just admitted to emergency rooms. They wanted to say that it has become so complex. Read the previous sentence. It has a number of uh, number of injuries increased 110%. And so many people needed urgent treatment that they were so severely injured. That is why they said the hospital emergency rooms treated. So emergency rooms was the emphasis here. Not just hospital was the emphasis. Okay. English is a funny language. We will have a debate on this some other day. Not funny, but it's very really vast actually because of which we find it funny. ITY is a noun. Everything that ends with ITY is a noun. TY can have... TY generally, I don't think we, the words that end with TY generally have ITY and that is a noun. Okay, question number two and we have two minutes for this.
okay should be done related comes with two not with the word with if you have a choice between related and associated then you will just look at what is written after the blank if they are written to then we'll go with related and if they are written with then we will go with associated right so here we had with written so we will go with associated speculated to have been greek seafarers in the bronze age they are also closely dashed with the sea peoples who ravaged the eastern mediterranean during the same period so as i said we have with so we'll go with associated with related comes with two other evidence suggests they originated somewhere along the coast of the levant or they were an israelite tribe that fled with moses during the biblical dash from egypt this is a new word exodus exodus is basically used when a lot of people they um, leave a particular place to move somewhere else that is called exodus so during the biblical exodus from egypt means when so many people fled from egypt they can be a part of that group whoever the denon and the knights were they left a dash legacy so what kind of legacy it should be conflicting because if they would have left a legendary legacy then we would know about them we will have a lot of information about them which the first sentence made clear that they are the mystery people we don't know much about them so we'll say conflicting is better legacy the warriors who sacked egypt for its spoils or homer's troy may explain the mysterious identity and origins of these people along with the use of greek dash and the bible itself so along with the use of something greek of greek mythologies and the bible itself legendary cannot come in last plan because here we need a noun what of greek mythologies means those stories of greek that we have legendary is not a noun that's an adjective so these are the answers any confusions anybody all good with this one no this is just capital with the because of typing error i think exodus is mass exit a lot of people exiting at the same time that is called mass exit is exodus right so we have question number 3 on the screen 2 minutes for this one
All right, should be done. The American Civil War began in 1861 as a dash over the right of states to leave the Union. So it was not uh, as a result of a demand over. You cannot have demand over the right of someone. It was a struggle over means it was not clear whether it is allowed or not allowed. So civil war began as a struggle over the right of states to leave the Union. And they have explained it in the following sentences that President Abraham Lincoln firmly dashed that a state did not have that right. So the president thought, the president actually believed, not thought, because, because of just his thinking. So he was very firm. He believed that they did not have this right. They cannot do that. And that is why he declared war on the southern states that tried to leave. Lincoln had only one reason to fight to save the Union. In time, however, there was another reason to fight, which was to free the Black people had, uh, held as slaves in the South. Lincoln tried to keep the dash of slavery out of the war. So he kept this topic of slavery different or out of the war. So um, this topic of slavery topic would mean this issue of slavery out of the war, he feared it would dash the Northern war effort. So it would come first form of war. It would, uh, what do we have in negative? So he feared means something negative should be there. So it would weaken the Northern war effort that if he mixes these two things, then that will result in weakening of the war effort because many men will fight to save the union, but they will not fight to free the slaves. That is why it would be would weaken the hamper is just hamper cannot come with war effort. What do we mean by hamper is um no weaken would be considered v1. Weaken is not a past form of weak. That would be weak, weaker, weakest. Weaken itself is a form of verb. Weaken, weaken would be weaken only. Yeah, hamper means to become a hurdle in between. So stop the smooth flow of something that is hampered. That won't go with war effort. That would be weaken the war effort because some of the people will leave the war. So that will weaken the strength of the war. Right? No, no, awaken is different from uh, weaken. Awaken has its, its first form as awake. Awake, awaken, awaken. That those are the three forms of awake. Anything else in this question? Thank you, Vagro. So this is question number four on the screen and you have two minutes for this also. Please post your answers.
All right, let's discuss. Good, well done. The use of valuable stones like diamonds goes back thousands of years. Rulers of many ancient dash used gemstones. So many, the answer has to be plural. When we look at the options, we have only one plural option, which is culture. So that would be the answer. Used gemstones to show wealth and importance. Diamonds still dash power and fame. So still means present tense. So diamonds still, we have signify, we have represent. The diamonds show or they are a symbol of power and fame. So that better suits with represent. Signify is like indicate. So we don't get indication from them. Rather, we say they represent. If somebody is wearing diamonds, that represents his wealth, his richness, his power, his fame. So rich and famous people, that's the same thing that they have used around the world wear diamonds. And most women in the United States receive a diamond ring when they agree to a marriage proposal. Diamonds are dashed from the earth. So with R comes third form of verb. They are exploited or they are mined. Exploited is not the right word. Extracted could have been right, but we don't have it. So we'll go with mined because that also means extracted. They are cut, made to shine, and then sold at high prices. The nation of South Africa is dashed for its supply of diamonds. So South Africa is famous for diamonds. For generations, men have gone deep down into the earth to bring out the rough stones. It is a very dash and dangerous work. The negative, it is a very difficult and dangerous, makes sense, means it's not easy, plus it is very difficult. You don't say demanding. <clears throat> demanding has to justify then demanding in what sense like we discussed today physically demanding mentally demanding what does it demand so it's better to say it's very difficult and it's very dangerous as well okay any doubts anyone in this question The second one is uh, represent because they show, signify is indicate. We don't get indication from diamonds. It's just they represent power, they represent fame. Indicate is to get the hint of. But indicate is something that, yeah, hint, it goes more with hint, not with represents. Like we represent, I represent my country. I don't indicate my country. So now maybe you can understand the difference. Exploited is a negative word. Exploited, we don't exploit diamonds. We extract diamonds. Means we get diamonds out of those. That is called extraction and mining. Demanding has to be more clear, Nisha. That's what I said. Demanding has to be more clear whether it is physically demanding, mentally demanding, in what way it is demanding. So we can just say it is difficult and it's dangerous because we don't have further information about it. Okay. Fifth question and the last one for today. Two minutes for this.
difficult words but easy hints the first one says on february 2nd a few months after and dash had reduced buildings to ashes so with and we need a noun we had two things storm had reduced the building to ashes and inferno that's the only noun we have all other were verbs so storm cannot come with and that is why the answer is inferno inferno otherwise is a large fire but even if we don't know the meaning we should have selected it it has reduced the building to ashes a small group of men ascended to this wooded area a mile outside the small western coastal town in search of a local rodent said to possess meteorological dash powers meteorological powers what kind of power so meteorological is something which is the weather department meteorology department is weather forecasting department so we'll go with this rodent is said to possess meteorological forecasting powers type of powers forecasting powers up to the time of going to press to press the beast has not seen his shadow the spirit dash reported to its readers so the spirit reported to its reader it's a complete statement and reported is a verb that means we need adverb here this was a bit difficult blank because this was based on vocabulary a lot of you have written sadly because it's a negative thing that you understood but dejectedly is the answer because dejected is a better academic word to say sad and depressed when you are when you were hopeful of something and you don't get that thing then you become disheartened uh sad about it that is called dejected so they dejectedly reported to its readers later that day however the men of what would become known as this club dash one of the local woodchucks and reported back to the town that it had seen its shadow meaning six more weeks of winter so they have a uh, one of the local woodchucks so maybe kind of a rodent or a bird or something so this person the men or these persons they spotted spotted means they found we won't say they noted noted would be like something is happening and you started noting that spotted is suddenly to find something in front of you that is to spot they spotted one of those woodchucks and then they report back that they have seen its shadow it means this would be some kind of whatever rodent they were talking about <clears throat> so these are the answers first would be with and we need inferno because s cannot come with and second is what kind of power so meteorological department it forecast give the weather forecast that is why we'll also go with the same language uh, forecasting powers reported is a verb the sentence is complete we need ly so dejectedly is a better form of saying sadly and the last one they spotted one woodchuck so that would be spotted one of the local woodchucks so these were the answers for this question and these were all the questions that we had to do today any doubts or questions anybody in this last question All right. So we do have a class tomorrow, and do come back for your practice session, and uh, do keep practicing from the portal as much as you can. And thank you so much for your attendance. And till the time we see you tomorrow, bye bye. Take care, all of you. Stay safe. Those who are in Sydney, avoid going out. Uh, it's flooding everywhere, so. Take care of yourselves. And last question. No worries. Bye bye. So even the questions on the portal, Divita, I have solved all those questions with the same strategy. So it's all about you applying these strategies on the portal also. every question can be solved yes there are some questions based on vocabulary but you have to cover vocab also but majority of the questions even there can be solved with the same strategy so it's just the difference of application try to do that you will definitely be able to okay
rodent would be any kind of uh, should be a creature because they have used its shadow cannot be a human being so it should be some kind of creature Okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.